Grab your cup. What do you need in order to be happy? What What's the thing that if it happened, you know you would finally be happy? How would you answer that question? That's a question that I ask a lot of my clients in the beginning of some work that we do, specifically around healing codes, which is a spiritual modality that I use in all my programs. But in there, in that spiritual program, we start asking that fundamental question because I'm gonna tell you why. People answer it with things like, when I get this job, then I'll be happy. When I finally get this house or this amount of money, or when my relationship is finally at this place, or a certain acknowledgement, when I reach a status, then I'm really gonna be happy. And I, I know I did that for a lot of my adult, my early adulthood, it was always about reaching the thing that would make me happy. But here's what happens. We're not necessarily happy when we get there. In fact, oftentimes we're not happy. And then we have to find the next thing. So why do we want those goals? We want those things, the status, the job, the person, the money, the house. We want those things because we think that that is what's gonna bring us joy. That is what's gonna bring us love. That is what's gonna bring us freedom. That is what's gonna complete us. The other person will complete us. So my, how many songs talk about you complete me, right? So we think that that's what's gonna happen. So what we really want, what we really want is the joy. What we really want is to the wholeness and the completeness. What we really want is the freedom what we really want is the love. And we think those external things will be the way to get it, right? Am I right? Just look. In the spiritual work that we do, and it doesn't have to be spiritual work, but I think that that's where a lot of times we need to go in order to find the joy and the love and the wholeness and the completeness. It's a spiritual thing. We've, what we're doing is actually learning how to get that from inside because there's so many people. There's, um, there's a book, uh, I can't think of it right now, but there's a book um, by a, a person who's a coach who does, you know, work with a lot of famous people. And she talks about, she had a client who was, I think like a rock star, like a major rock star, millions and millions and millions of dollars, and yet wasn't happy. And we see that a lot. We see that in the news, people who have status and money and are not happy because those things don't bring it. What we really want has to come from inside. It has to, because typically what people will say, well, one of two things will happen, right? The first thing is we won't reach that goal. We might reach it. We might get the status. We might finally make that amount of money. We might get the dream house. We might have the amazing relationship and we might not. So the first thing is if that goal doesn't happen, now we hung our hat on that thing has to be the thing to make us happy and it didn't happen. Therefore, I can't have happiness in my life. Therefore, I can't feel joy. So that's the first possibility. The second possibility is we get the thing and then pretty quickly afterwards, we're like, okay, I got this house now, but I'm not happy. Or okay, I got this job now, but is that it? Is this money all there is? So there's a sense of, okay, what else is next? Because we always need another external thing. So if that goal is reached, okay, now we've got a lot of life left and we need to find another goal to keep the happiness coming. You know what I'm saying? So when we look to see that those things are really just a vehicle that we believe will get us to the end products of joy, love, wholeness, we hang our hat on that vehicle 
and then we never really get there. What it really makes sense to do is to find joy, love, wholeness, connection inside first, regardless of what you have, what's shown up in your life, what jobs there are, what relationships there are. You wanna have those things first then they're always with you. And yes, life, you know, ups and downs. There are times when life is harder than others. There are times when we, you know, need to move through some things for sure. But when you have that with you, it doesn't matter what's happening out there. Now, the next question is, how do I have that with me? I'm glad you asked. But that's exactly like the work that has to happen because the reason we don't have that automatically internally is a lot of the ways that we've learned how to see ourselves as not good enough scarcity through scarcity and lack i can't my life doesn't have enough of something doesn't have enough love doesn't have enough money doesn't have enough so it's a scarcity lack lens that we see ourselves through it's a not good enough lens. It's a not lovable lens. And when we look through those lenses, when we've been trained to see ourselves through those lenses, it's impossible to have that come from within us. We need to get it from outside sources. But those lenses are false lenses. Those lenses happened when we were developing ourselves as young children. Those lenses got created by false messaging by early experiences that gave us the, the wrong message. It's misperceptions, wrong messages, foggy lenses that we're looking through and then trying to create the things that we really want in our heart through external circumstances. And it just doesn't work. We need to get rid of those lenses drop the messaging, change the misperceptions, see what they are and release them. And then we can create what we really want inside. Wouldn't it be amazing to feel joyful no matter what was happening? Wouldn't it be wonderful to have wholeness and connection even if the job didn't come, even if you never get that status of money? And now here's the next layer, which really could be a whole nother coffee conversation. But when we have the joy first, when we feel the love for ourselves first without needing that, that's actually when things just come to us. That's when there's a natural flow of good things and good relationships showing up. A lot of times we don't even see them because our lenses are so foggy. But when we get that, first, then the good things come. So it's flipping the order. I don't need the good things in order to feel that way. I feel that way. I see myself as whole and complete. I love myself. And now good things come. Now you're a magnet for them. And whether they come or whether they don't, you still have what your end result is, which is the joy, the happiness, the love, the completeness, the connection. See what I'm saying? So that's the work that I do with my clients. In the Return to You program, that's a very comprehensive and intensive program to really get into those messages and the misperceptions and releasing the lenses. So we do all of that. And then also in the healing codes, which I'll be starting um, after the new year, if you're interested in that as well, we go, that's a very much just a spiritual modality, energy and spiritual work. So keep your eye out for that. But if you have questions about any of it, and if you're interested in the Return to You program, drop me a comment and let's connect so that I can share the details with you. Have a good day.